Good morning, everybody. Tyler here with Boost Junkie Media, and today I am bringing you a special video from on the road. Uh, right now, we are headed somewhere uh, very cool, something that I have been looking for for quite a while, and finally found, I think, the uh, exact scenario or the exact situation that I was looking for. Um, so here we are, we're driving in the uh, F-150. We're going to go pick something up. Um, I haven't really talked about this a whole lot on the channel, but I figured I would go ahead and just share a little bit. So with the S-550 Mustang, everyone knows they can make great power and it's a great platform. We all love uh, that particular car. However, the downside to the car is that it is extremely heavy. Um, and it is, unless you want to gut the car and you know start taking stuff out and start removing all the factory pieces, it's just very difficult to get them down to a reasonable weight. And what that equates to is your horsepower to weight ratio. And until you get that ratio into a good uh, set of numbers, it's, it's hard to make the car go fast consistently without breaking parts. Uh, and to, to, to make them go fast, you gotta make a good bit of power. You know, you gotta make 900 plus, and on the stock bottom end, that's just, you know, that's a lot of power, and they don't last forever. Yes, they do take it for a while, but not forever. So the way around that is to pick up a car that is much lighter in weight. And I'm sure as much, much many of you out there know, a great platform in the Mustang community is the Fox Body. Fox Body Mustang um, is very is becoming difficult to find a clean car that hasn't been ragged out and gutted and just completely and utterly destroyed. And so the cars themselves, you know, a decently clean one, you're looking at minimum 10 grand for the car, maybe more, maybe you know, maybe 12 to 15 for a decently clean one that's not all rusted out, that's been hacked and ragged and just all that nonsense so I have found hopefully uh, what I would kind of consider a, a diamond in the rough I have found a 1992 uh, Mustang LX it is a trunk car so it is a notchback and it already has done an LSX swap now that is a GM LS based motor uh, LS, LS style um, swap with a, a single turbo on it. So that is what I'm going to actually pick up right now. Um, just a little bit about the car. It is, a, like I said, a 92. It is an LQ9 six liter with a built bottom end. It's got Wiseco pistons, Eagle rods, a stock crank that's been balanced. Uh, it's got some Patriot heads on it, uh, BTR cam. Uh, BTR valve springs, got the trunnion upgrade, uh, it's got a single turbo, a turbo 400 car, built A8 with welded axle tubes, um, upgraded fuel system, drive shaft loops, you know, chromoly drive shaft, all, all the goodies to make the car run decently quick at the track, which is what I was, you know, kind of looking for a car to do. I have already ridden in the car. It, it seems to drive great. It seems to ride great. You know, it, it's a car that I definitely could, could hop in. It's fairly streetable for what it is. I could definitely hop in it, I feel, and drive, you know, a couple hours, three hours away and trust the car and it wouldn't completely beat you to death. Um, it is, like I said, a Turbo 400, but it only has a 308 gear. So at like 72 uh, miles an hour, even though it's only a three-speed trans, it's only turning like 2,400 RPM. So that's not awful uh, as far as like noise and vibration and stuff. And it's really not loud. I mean, it's, it's loud, but it's not that loud. So that's kind of the, uh, the, the basics of the car. Like I said, I'm going to pick it up right now. Um, so once we get there, I will, you know, kind of do a walk around of the car and show a little bit more about the car. And the plan is we're gonna go ahead and pick it up and we're gonna take it down to uh, my buddy Josh. Uh, he's, uh, his YouTube channel is uh, Underground Garage and he actually is lucky enough to have a dyno. Um, 
So he, we're gonna strap that baby down on the dyno and go ahead and make some uh, some small hits, kind of check things out, check the tune out. It does have a Holly Dominator too, which was one of the big selling points of going to a build like this, is with the Dominator, I feel that I can do the majority of the tuning myself. Uh, once it's got a good bass tune in it, you know, I can go in and modify the boost, modify timing, that kind of stuff. Um, so that's that's very attractive to me for this style of car. You know, I don't have to go through a remote tuner. I don't have to be calling somebody up all the time to you know do a remote tuning session on it or whatever. I can do it for, for myself. You know, with myself for the most part. So yeah. So we'll take it down to the dyno. We'll do a couple of you know small hits, kind of check the logs out, make sure everything looks good on it. Um, and then if everything looks you know decent, hopefully in the very, very near future, we'll get it to the track and uh, see what it can do. Um, but yeah, pretty excited about it. So like I said, that's where we're headed right now. And once I get there, I'll do you know some more footage of walking around the car and kind of showing the car off a little bit, okay? So stay tuned for that. Good morning, everybody. This is Tyler, Boost Junkie Media. And today I'm gonna bring you uh, the, rem the remaining part of the video I started yesterday uh, talked a little bit about you know what was going on with the channel and what I was adding and here is uh, we are here in the underground garage I mentioned uh, you know the channel yesterday this is my buddy Josh um, and we have the car here so we're gonna kind of do the unveil um, we are doing just general maintenance stuff on it right now so there's a couple of things you know taken apart but It'll be back together here in just a little bit. So, uh, and here we go. Ready? And there it is. This is a 1992 Mustang LX. It is a notchback, as you can see. And there's the inside. As I mentioned, it's got the Holly Dominator on it. So it's got the Holly Dash, uh, nice Hearst shifter. So let's go under the hood here. So there it is. So this is a uh, LQ9 with a quasi built bottom end it's got uh, Wiseco pistons eagle rods it is a stock crank uh, but it has been uh, balanced and blueprinted um, it is rocking a kind of a small turbo that's probably going to be one of the things we're going to have to upgrade in the future it's a 76 75 uh, BMF turbo with a 96 housing on it um, and yeah Holly Dominator truck coils it's got Bosch 210 injectors uh, twin or yeah, twin pump setup for right now. Another thing we may have to upgrade in the future. We may have to go to a, a triple pump um, just to get more. I'm gonna put it on E85, and as you as you probably know, E85 uses a lot more fuel, so we're gonna have to go to a triple pump. It is an air to air intercooler. Nice Holly fuel pressure regulator back there. So yeah, this is uh. This is the car, some nice weld uh, wheels, skinnies in the front. It's got a 275 6015 in the rear. It does already have the five lug conversion and disc brake conversion on the rear, uh, which is nice. Not, uh, not living the four, four lug thug life. And battery cutoff switch already. Does have a four point uh, bar, roll bar. Nice seats, fairly clean on the inside. Black interior car. So yeah, there, uh, there it is. And the goals with this car is going to be, uh, it, it's definitely fairly streetable. I mean, I think you could drive this car, you know. An hour or two you know maybe three if you really really wanted to uh, it is a turbo 400 car uh, but it, it does have a 308 gear 
So as I mentioned, it's not terrible on the interstate as far as, you know, high RPMs and a lot of noise and stuff. It cruises at about 2400, which really isn't all that bad. Um, so, it, you know, street car, but I do want to take it to the track and see if I can get it to turn, you know, turn a decent ET. Um, as it sits, I'm not sure. Uh, we may have to do a few upgrades, you know, fuel pump I mentioned, possibly the turbo, but we'll, we'll see. Um, but my buddy Josh here at the underground garage, as you can see over here, he has dyno jet. He does have the brake on it. So later on today, uh, once we get uh, everything back together, we're going to strap it down and see what it'll do. Um, uh, the maintenance I'm doing on it is just basic stuff. Spark plugs, pull them out, check them out, see what was in it. Uh, oil change, just some general, you know, maintenance stuff. Just because I don't know, you know, the previous owner, I don't know how old the oil is. It looked fairly, it looks fairly clean on the dipstick, but I just don't know for sure. So I figured the best way to go about it was to just replace them. Uh, plus, I wanted to, you know, check the the straps and everything and make sure they look good. Everything looked pretty good. Plugs look good. Um, yeah, it does have a Cervini's hood, Cervini's cowl hood on it. So that's nice hood pins but uh, yeah so this is um, this is gonna be the what I would call the fast car and then the s550 the plan I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday but the plan for it is to still um, probably still do like the Whipple on it uh, and I've already put you know a few things on it I don't think I'm gonna remove them I'll just leave them uh, I'm gonna put the Whipple on it and probably just leave it on 93 pump gas. So if I can get it to make, you know, 680, 700 on pump gas easily and uh, just have fun with it, it'll just be, you know, definitely more of the street car if I wanna go to Mustang Week or American Muscle Show up in Pennsylvania or something like that, I'll take that uh, versus, you know, driving this that far or having to trailer it. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. I figure that's kind of the best of both worlds, uh, a fun street car, uh, and a faster car that can also be driven on the street, but obviously is not as user friendly, uh, when it comes to street manners and, and, uh, you know, just driving it and stuff. So yeah, that, uh, that's pretty much it. Stay tuned to, uh, for more content, and I will probably throw some clips uh, on the dyno, on this on the dyno later on, or I might just do that as a separate video. I haven't decided yet, so uh, stay tuned for that, and we'll see you later.